Hello, it's Bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to encrypt your hard drive using BitLocker. So for that end, I'm going to use this HP Prodesk 600 G1. You can use any other model that you may have. Can be a laptop, can be a Dell, can be Toshiba, can be Asus, doesn't make a difference. The process is the same. So the other thing that we need is that you have Windows 10 Pro or above. Can we can be Windows 8 Pro or Windows 7 Pro and above. OK, the other thing that you need is TPM. I'm not going to go through the process of finding and activating TPM if you have it. For that, I have done these videos in the past. So if you're interested, you can. I'm going to leave them in the video description below. So as you can see, this is Windows 10. And I'm going to go to this PC. So as you can see, I have two partitions, the C drive on the, on, on the left, which has Windows 10 uh, operating system, and the, uh, uh, the partition D, which is the same physical hard drive, but I just split it into two. You can have many others, you can only have one, but I'm just showing, showing you that I have two. So the first step that we have to take is right click on the C drive and go to turn on BitLocker. Okay, so that's going to pop up automatically if you have it. And then it's going to say, how do you want to back up your recovery key? So you have three options, save to Microsoft account, save to a file of print the recovery key. So the recovery key is something very important that you need to save. OK, so always keep it safe. Otherwise, you won't have you won't have access to your C drive in the future if something happens. So now I don't have a printer, so I'm going to go to save to a file. Now I click next and this is by default the name. You can change it if you want, but I'm going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to save it in the desktop. I click save and but there is an error. It says this location cannot be used. Your uh, recovery key cannot be saved on an encrypted drive, which makes sense, right? So now I'm going to try on the D drive and it's telling me the same. You cannot save it in the same comp in the same hard drive or partition that you're going to encrypt. So we cannot save it on the computer itself. So we need an external device. So in this case, I'm going to use this USB. It can be any size, doesn't really make a difference. So I'm going to connect it to the computer. And after a few seconds, as you can see, USB drive E, it's recognizable. I'm not going to scan it. And now uh, if, if I go down, you can see USB drive E. So I click on that. And now I'm going to I'm going to try to save it. So that's the information I have. The USB doesn't have to be empty. Can be, I can have uh, information. So I'm going to click save. And after a few seconds, it's going just to save it, right? So it's saved. There is no error. Now I click next. And now it's telling me, choose how much or, or your drive you want to encrypt. So you want to encrypt everything or just the space that is being used at the moment. So that's the first option. I'm going to cho choose that because it's faster. So only the, as you can see in my C drive, a fourth of the of the size is being used, right? So I'm just going to encrypt that. And as you put more information, it's going to encrypt it automatically. So I'm going to click next. And now it's asking me choose which encryption mode to use. So the first one is new encryption mode, best for fixed drives on this device. So that's the, the common one. I'm going to choose that one. The second one is if you're going to move, go, if you are going to be moving this hard drive between computers. So I'm not going to do that one for this one. It's going to stay on this computer. Um, for a long time. So I'm going to choose that one. So you select that. There is a lot of information on the top. So I go next and I'm go not going to run the BitLocker system check because it takes a long time. And I'm just going to uh, click start encrypting. So as you can see, there is a lock and in the bottom right, it says encryption in progress. So this is going to take more or less time depending how much information you have. So another way to, tra to track this is to go to the search bar in Windows and just type BitLocker. So I'm going to show you in a few seconds right there and manage BitLocker. So you click on that and a Windows is going to open. And as you can see, it says BitLocker C, BitLocker encrypting. So the process is going on. So this is, like I said, this is going to take um, more or less time depending on how much data you're encrypting, uh, how fast your computer is, your processor and all that. So that's what's going to take. So now I'm going to I'm going to show you how the the key looks like. So that's the recovery key. That's the one that really matters. So the, take a picture, send it to an email, keep it somewhere safe. Okay, don't lose this um this recovery key. Okay. So we close this, and now I'm going to uh, stop the video, and I'm going to come back when this is finished. This is going to take for me, I think, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, because I don't have a lot of info. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, minutes. 
Welcome back. So I left it for around 25 minutes. And as you can see, there is no um, physical difference. So I'm going to right click on the C drive. I'm going to click on manage BitLocker and it's going to show us the same window as before. And as you can see, it says BitLocker, C BitLocker on. It doesn't say encrypting anymore. So the process has been successful. So on the right, you can see suspend, prote suspend protection, backup your recovery key, which we have done or turn off BitLocker. So this is finished. I'm going to close it. And you can do exactly the same for the D drive. You select the same thing, but the menu is a little different. Uh, as you can see on the top, it says use the password to unlock the drive. So that means uh, the, the partition is going to be always locked. When you turn on Windows and if you if you want to have access to it, you have to type the password all the time. I don't see the use for this, but it's there. The second one is for a smart card. I don't have it. And the third one is like the C drive. Automatically unlock the drive on this computer. OK, so that would be uh, the same as we have done with the C drive. You are going to need a, a key for recovery and all that. But I'm not going to do it, but it's the same process. So you might be saying that, okay, I have the encrypted, so what's the difference? I don't really see the difference other than you tell me that uh, it's, it's encrypted and I see a lock there. So for that, I have done this video in the past. You can click on the top right on, of this screen for, for it. In that video, I show the difference between an encrypted hard drive and a non-encrypted hard drive. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.